Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video about how to change the goddamn HUD color. Thank you. Well, I'll be sure to do that. So, it seems that the last, they've made changes to the way the game graphical configuration um, can be manipulated. I think the changes happened when the game changed from being 32-bit um, to 64-bit. I think that's when it's happened. Anyway, the old video that I did on changing the the uh, the HUD doesn't work. This one does work. I've, I've done a trial run. I've tested it out. Um, that's weird. Shut up. Oh, there's noises going on. Noises going on. I'm going to have to turn those noises off because that's my mate telling me <laughs> something else. Anyway, that doesn't that doesn't make any difference. God damn it! If those little ping pongs keep happening. So let's just have a look at where we are. So everything is the same. This is the default coloration of um, the game, as we all know and love. I've bunged myself into this little uh, eagle just for both giggles and shits so as you can see everything normal um, as we as we know what's going on so what we do is we get out of the game okay so that you have to, in order to make these changes you have to be out of the game totally so let's kill the game kill the game and we'll go back to the old desktop no, we won't we'll go here, but we don't want that. We want to go to the desktop, which is what? Control D? Win key D. Yeah, Windows key D. Uh, so, let's have a look. Ignore all this. That's not what we want. So, the first thing that you want to do is go and start navigating through your, um, your file structure. This is where you want to go. Local disk. Mine's always C. Typically, it defaults to C. Uh, and then you would think you want to go to program files and do all this kind of stuff. You don't. That's not where it is. I'm pretty certain that's where it used to be. It used to be in like program files, x86, blah, 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 but it's not. You want to go into users. And then you want to find your user that you log into. The way I've set my PC up, it's admin, but it will be your user for your PC. Then you want to go to app data now it's a hidden folder as you can see these folders here they're sort of not as um, not as uh, sharply signified that's because it's a hidden folder in order to find those just type into the search bar hidden if you can spell it correctly <laughs> um, and it will come up and say best match control panel show hidden files and folders click in that and you just want to click this it'll be on that click it to that okay and apply it um, you you have to have admin privileges on the PC to do that, so just to let you know, you need to do that. Okay, so I've I've already got them on anyway, it doesn't make any difference. So we go into app data, then you want to go local. You gotta stay local. And then it'll bring up a load of stuff going on here. All we care about is frontier developments. Now, this one here is not what you want. You want this one here anyway you'll see when you click into it you want the one that says elite dangerous in it this other one says it's for the elite dangerous launcher so they're separate um, sort of applications if you like so you want frontier developments elite dangerous and then you want options we gotta go for the options and obviously you're not gonna want any of this nonsense there are a lot of stuff, this stuff that you can change in here if you want to start having a look at things. I highly recommend you do not, but there's a lot of stuff that you can change anyway. So this is the one you want, graphics config override, okay? Graphics configuration override. Um, and you want to edit that with, you can edit, you can edit it with um, anything. I mean, if you just got normal notepad, let's see if that works. Yeah, cool, so there, there you go. Just normal Notepad. If you haven't got Notepad++ installed, I use that a lot for um, text editing, for code, and various things. So you, you know, if you haven't got that, don't worry about it. So you just go open with Notepad, okay? And then it'll pop up with this, this one. It won't actually. It'll probably look something like that, okay? That's all you'll have. You'll open up, and it'll be completely blank. Now. 
as you see, I actually had that s sitting in it. This, these things here are what you change to change the different colors of the GUI. Now, wh when you open this, it it will be uh, it will be blank like. As I said, it will be blank like that or something like that. Now, what I recommend you do before you start uh, changing anything, I'm gonna don't don't worry about what I'm doing. Is the first thing you do is copy your normal one and paste it straight back. Okay, so just leave the copy, and if you want, you can rename it and put um, original, whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it Timmy. You can call it whatever. It doesn't really make any difference, but make a copy of it just in case. Now, as you saw with my my one here, oh, there you go. If you double click on it, it'll actually it's an XML file, so it'll open it up in um, in a browser. But let me go back to open with Notepad. Okay. Now, as I said, yours will not look like that. It will probably look like that, but that's not a problem. Now, where do you get all these bits and bobs? You're not going to sit there and type it off the screen. Of course, you're not, because that would be dumb. Um, but the way this is set up, I'm just going to let you know this is the base setup for the game and it, essentially it's saying whatever the game thinks is red it, it's it got 100% red 0% green 0% blue okay that's how that works whatever the game thinks is green it's got 0% red 100% green 0% blue can you see where this is going anything the game thinks is blue 0% red 0% green 100% blue okay it says one but it you know it's you know integers decimal two decimal points anyway so you want to change all this stuff the easiest way of doing it to, and also to see what happens because it it making changes to these things can really alter your game so I'll put all this stuff in the description anyway so have a look in the description below the video but I've already got this uh, on here so you want to go to this website which is arcu.com forward slash elite forward slash HUD editor if you just type in arcu dot com into Google it will pop up anyway and th this shows you and the important thing about this I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor I can't remember if it um, if it shows but you can see the um, the uh, orbital stations the CFOS orbital up there it's green um, and also this little on the scanner you can just see a green um, ship with its hard points out you've got to still be able to work out what is green and what is red because otherwise that's going to play bloody merry hell with your game experience. Um, so, as you can see, if you, if you move, what will happen is you can move these sliders around and it will change dynamically on the screen what will happen. Whoop, 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 whoop. As you can see, that's a bit, bit funky. Um, and there you go. But don't worry about that too much. Now, where you get all of that text is here. Okay, so you highlight all of that. You copy it. You come back to your notepad. Let's just say it's that one. And you paste it in, okay? That's the first thing you do. Then you come back into your website and you play around. You play around with these to see what you want. So you're like, yeah, I want it sort of a bit more like this. I want some of that there, purple. Oh, good, yeah, bloody blah, blah. Have a bit of this. Whoa, look at that. Now, you can, you can have that as your color scheme if you want. Of course you can, there you go. But you've just got to remember that the ships that are now allied to you are going to be sort of yellow, as you can see there. And also this horrible sort of yellow thing here is going to be your green friendly um, thing. Okay, so you've got to be careful with that. So I'm just going to put these all back to how it was, if I can remember. That's not right. That is right. Uh, and we'll put all the blue back up. So that is back to default, uh, nearly that is back to default the lovely orange I mean you could if you want you could just dial down the orange and everything will still look cool um, but there you go we'll keep it as fully full whack now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit sort of have a bit more blue so I'm gonna have half blue in that so it's sort of made it pink fine whatever green I'm gonna make the green a little bit sort of sort of more aqua green aqua green and you can see, as you slide it, you can see that little ship by, in the scanner changing. You've just got to remember that that's what's going to be, that's the color it's going to be. So that's kind of cool. And if you change this one, does it change? Yeah, so it goes yellow. You don't want that. Um, 
And then for the stuff that's blue, we will say, let's have a bit more green in the blue. Actually that, yeah, just see, it just changes the scanner from being blue to sort of cyan, turquoise, and then to like, that well, that is turquoise really. So we're gonna put it around about there, that'll do. Okay, then you copy this bit, and you can see it's, it's taken these values, and it's automatically put them in here for you. You copy that out, you go back to the old notepad which one did we say it was that one and you just cover over the basics you can just type it out if you want it's whatever whatever floats your boat uh, we'll just make this a little bit tidier for code reasons just so it's there and then we're going to copy all of that and we're going to go I tell you what let's just get back to the desktop we're going to go back to our folder and we have this open somewhere and it's that one and we are just going to select all paste everything in so essentially all you're doing is you're putting in the numbers that you want and you're overwriting what was in there previously and if you save that okay so what we've done there is we have saved over the original but we've got a copy of the original if we need to go back to it and if you do need to go back to it just rename this with new or whatever and rename this just get rid of the original and everything and the game is that's what it's looking for it's looking for that file name Okay, so now we've done that, let's, I'll kill off the launcher as well, uh, we'll get rid of that, we'll leave that on, look at that, it's remembering everything I'm ever saying, I don't know why I've got a voice attack on, I'm not even really playing the game, anyway, so let's have a look, and your heart will literally be in your mouth as you look in a awe at your new color scheme. But remember, in order to change it, you have to come out of the game totally. And I would even suggest coming out of closing the launcher down as well. Okay? Now, I, this 100% works. This is the way to do it. So if it's not working for you, then you're doing something wrong. That is the only reason. So let's go. Start. Open play. And you think, wait a minute. That eagle's orange. I'm not happy about that. It's failed. Everything is wrong. What's happening, man? This isn't happening, man. Whoa! It's purple! It's purple and teal! So let's get up and have a little look. It doesn't change anything to do with, you know, graphical elements within the game. It doesn't change stars. It doesn't change anything like that. But it will change. Landing gear. Whoa! Your way is clear for departure. Yeah, I forgot how quick this eagle is. Oh, this ship is brilliant! I haven't been in one of these for years! Whoa, yeah. Okay, so the way I think this is working is how what's our what's our reputation with Sirius? Uh, where is the local reps? None. Okay, so as you can see, what on earth? Thanks, dude. These things that look sort of green, are they? No, they've got to be. Yes, they are. They are allies. Okay. The other things that sort of look orange, well, the pink, they're. They're what was orange and the white things which you know are uh, wakes and things like that they're that sort of well it is sort of grey but see that's the only thing you've got to work the only thing you've got to be aware of is it does check bloody hell why are they firing that's a bit weird you don't usually see that kind of nonsense happening do you what's going on over there that's brilliant let's get over there let's join in Come on, why can't we target this dude? There we go. What was that? That was bizarre. I don't think I've ever witnessed anything quite like it in my life. Hey, this eagle is great. I highly recommend you cover that into an eagle as well. Have a little play. That is genius. Anyway, so uh, let's stop so we don't crash. And you've just got to make sure that you're happy with the way everything looks 
Um, yep, yeah, they're all green. They're all white, essentially, from the old. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Have a play. Um, but it will really sort of gnaws up some of your um, some of your shiz that's going on. So as long as you're aware of that, then you'll be fine. So we will land in here. Oh yeah, so the green Enterprise, you can see it is it is green. And it does the actual hologram does have a sort of the sort of greenish tint to it. Um, but it doesn't it's not making any changes to the um, any of the outside graphical elements of the game. So it's not it's not gonna make any changes to anything like that. And as you can see as well, even these landing pads they're still showing um, as orange because that is not something related to your GUI it's an outside element in the game if you know what I mean so nothing in the game is going to change it's just what's on your GUI the pilot that pilot is the consideration man this eagle is brilliant slow down I love a little eagle from other I wish it was an imperial eagle because they look even cooler whoa bouncy bouncy uh, and we'll just go into the, ha the, the services just to show you how this changes as well. Contact confirmed. But that's the main thing. You've just got Welcome to remember to station, that that's, that's essentially... They're, they're sort of the, the red that's redded out. That's essentially the sort of orange that was there. So as long as you are able to, to sort of get that in your head, then you'll be fine. Go and have fun. Have a little play. There are some really wacky ones where... Wacky? What the hell? Are we in the 70s? There are some really difficult to use ones whereby, it, you know, everything's like bright pink or bright yellow or whatever. But the, the main thing is go to that um, website, Arku. Where is it? Where's it gone? De -de 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 -de. Where is it? Wow, I don't even know where it's gone. Did I get rid of it? No, it's there. Look. Um, and have a little play around and just just, just, just muck about and do, 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 do. have a go. Whoa, look at that. I mean, that's almost, it's almost all white. That's all weird. What? What? Why is that all white? All white? You know, light blue. So there's loads of different things you can change. Um, and then mix and match, boot out of the game, go back in. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. There you go. You've got yourself crazy pink HUD. Hope that helps, guys. Uh, I'm going to stick a little card on my old video, get this one up there, and um, make your changes. It's not. It's not going to break your game. You're not violating anything. You're not hurting anybody. You can always go back to the old one. I don't know why Elite don't put it into the game. Um, a standard. I think the reason why they don't put it into the game is because it does have the ability to alter the gameplay in as much as you don't know what is an enemy and you don't know what is a friendly. I th that's probably the only reason why they're not putting it in because people might then go, oh, I don't know, I can't see what, you know, and it you were never intended to be able to change it. So, um, anyway, let's get out of this goddamn grease ball of a ship. Get back into the. Have I got an, an eagle? Yeah, I do. It's in Quanti. Look at that. That's a beast. Oh, look at him. That is a. a I wish. Do you know what? I wish the Imperial Courier looked at. Whoa. A, looked a little less like a pelican or like a platypus head. I mean that. Uh, it does. It does. It just doesn't look anywhere near as cool as it did in, in um, Elite Two Frontier. But anyway, I am talking nonsense. Look how lovely it is with this turquoise. Ah, oh, very nice. Um, yeah. No, we want to use it. Thank you. Anyway, guys, there you go. Um, if you have any trouble, then try again. Um, or you, you know, you must be doing it wrong. I'm afraid. So, there you go. Stand by. Goodbye.